Once we've set up our opening balances in our chart of accounts, we then have to go and set up the matching trade debtors and trade creditors outstanding sales and purchases. And we do that through setup balances, customer balances. Now in this example, we, we have a trade debtors of $300 and we have a sale for one customer uh, and we'll use uh, Megan for $300 from April 2010 outstanding. And you notice down there it's got out of balance. So we'll click add sale and we'll choose Megan Jones. Now it's really important that you date the transaction in the prior accounting period. So we'll put it in as April 2010 and it's $300 outstanding. Note also the GST there uh, matches the outstanding GST. So we'll hit record and you can see that it now prompts us to say that it's in balance and we'll OK again and now our out of balance is zero. Let's close that sale and now that it's closed um, our trade debtors matches the outstanding customer sales.